This is a robotic helping hand, which is a side project that I've been working on that tracks the movements of your soldering iron to update the position of the circuit board that you're working on in real time. It has three main modes, the first of which being shown here, which is just a default tracking mode. And then secondly, there's a lock mode. This mode just locks the PCB in place when you found a desired position to solder in. The last mode is Calibrate, which upon being pressed registers the current position of the soldering iron as home. And all of this stems from the desire to not have to manually manipulate the circuit board. I've been using a Radio Shack helping hand for my entire life, and this is kind of standard procedure for anybody else who's soldering at home or is a hobbyist, and these things are super clunky and cumbersome. For example, if you just wanted to move it up and to the right, you'd be adjusting multiple joints and it would still be swaying left and right when you didn't want it to while soldering. As a result, I wanted something that could just intuitively pick up the way I wanted to move the circuit board based on how I was adjusting the position of my soldering iron, and that's basically exactly what this robotic helping hand does. It's almost like a little mini desktop Jarvis or something like that. Here's a full parts list for all the required components to build the robotic helping hand. Starting off with something that's not on the list is this 3D printed base. It has four 3M rubber bumpers on the bottom for grip so that it doesn't move around when soldering. Next we have the custom PCB with an Arduino Nano and two Metal Geared MG996R servos with a pan tilt kit. This allows the platform to move both horizontally and vertically in response to yaw and pitch changes on the gyroscope. Next up is the upper 3D printed body part which mounts to the plate of the tilt servo through two M3 screws. This upper body part obviously holds the two alligator clips which mount to the PCBs or circuit boards you'd be soldering. And lastly you have the 3D printed attachment for your soldering iron that would connect the gyroscope to the PCB. To talk a bit more about the PCB I designed, it interfaces directly with an Arduino Nano that takes input from the MPU6050 through these four male header pins that are labeled with the SDA, SCL, VCC and ground um, connections and then you have the pin and tilt servos that would connect through these six male header pins here. And then the entire thing is just powered through this micro USB here. So through this 80 centimeter long jumper cable that's included in the kit, you would plug it directly into the gyroscope that's on the soldering iron and then connect the corresponding pins to the PCB. The 3D printed gyro attachments interface with both round style soldering irons and the TS100. Now to talk a bit about the code, it's based heavily on Jeff Roberg's MPU DMP6 library. And essentially what it's doing is fetching the raw data for the yaw and pitch angles and converting them to Euler angles through some basic math at the top and then mapping those Euler angles onto servo readable and writable angles. It also has a couple of loops to correct for yaw drift which is an inaccuracy in the gyroscope where the yaw angles tend to drift a little bit in the beginning for a specific period of time, usually a couple of seconds. The full program along with all the STL files and the parts list has been published on my GitHub in the description. And to wrap this video up, I just wanted to mention that I'm selling the robotic helping hand as a kit through my Shopify website, which is linked here and in the description. And so for $45, I honestly think it's a fun comparison to some of the most popular ones that are currently being sold on Amazon. And now to end this video, I just want to say thank you for watching. You can get all the software resources on my GitHub, and you can order a kit through the link in the description. And of course, feel free to leave any questions in the comment section.